Welcome to another RSR. Tonight I'm reviewing Puma Suriname 1, Club Leon 0, and the Liga MX Clausura 2024, Hornada 15. Puma Suriname 1, Club Leon 0, and La Liga MX Clausura, Hornada 15. Big win for Pumas. Puts them a lot more comfortably into the playoffs. Ninth place in the Repichaje, the NBA style Repichaje. The 10, 9, 8, 7 Repichaje. They're in there a lot more comfortably. 23 points. They needed to win this match. They got it. They have a match on the final day against Queretaro, who is also a promotion rival, or not a promotion rival, but a Repichaje rival. One team's left that possibly could get a playoff spot that isn't in the playoff spots right now. That is Leon. They still have a chance, even though they lost here. And they lost last week to Queretaro as well. Another Repichaje rival. They lost both matches against the Repichaje rival. But they have a chance. Queretaro's final two looks very hard for them. to even pick up a point, let alone, let alone three. They pick up 26, and and Pumas picks up 26, or 24, 25, well, yeah, when would be 26. You pick up 26, it's over for Leon. They both hit 26, it's over for Leon. So two games to go for all these teams. Leon plays against Monterey in their final two. Then Juarez... But Pumas does play Queretaro, so they could help Leon. And if Leon beats Juarez. With that being said, this wasn't as dangerous or disastrous for Leon as you would think. They could have gotten beat worse, but there you go. Pumas, this helps them, but not every, not everything. So, halftime was nil-nil. Miro tiempo. Cero a cero. Pumas was the better team through the first half. They had more of the ball. They had more chances. They had more shots. They looked like the better team. They looked like this game was going to go their way. They looked like they were going to win it. They wanted it more. They were playing at home, so that helps. But Leon, just even though Rodolfo Cotto was standing on his head and they had a couple of chances laid on, it just wasn't good enough. It just wasn't good enough. In the first half, it looked more like a Pumas game throughout the night. And it looked pretty certain that Pumas were going to win. Then in the 68th minute, Pumas are up a man. They get the goal finally. Piero Kipe scores. Ball played into him by Funes Mori. Kipe shoots it, goes off the arm and in. Arm of Kota and into the net. 1-0, Uno Acero. Great shot by Kipe. Finds his way in there. Could have been 2-0 because they really could have scored one after rounding the keeper, but they waited for a couple of seconds, got cleared off the line. But it is 1-0. They finally got their goal. Uno a cero, full time, 1-0. Uno a cero esta noche. Pumas get the win. They get the 23 points. They need three more to make the playoffs. Tenth or ninth. They won't win against a Medica. They could draw. They're playing at home. That's the good news. Yeah. Yeah. And then they play Queretaro. So. Good news. For them. But. They should make the Ligia. And they could help lay on backdoor their way in as well. If they were to beat Juarez. They're not beating Monterey. So. Stats are as follows. 18 shots to 11. 6 shots on goal to 4. 63% possession to 37% possession. 512 pass to 302. 89% pass accuracy to 77. 10 fouls, 7. 2 offside to 1. 1 yellow card to 1. 0 red cards to 1. 7 corners to 4. And let me tell you, Pumas just, again, looked like the better team throughout the match. They wanted this more. They should have won by more. They had more possession. They had more shots. More shots on goal. This always looked like Pumas's game. No question. In both halves. And up a man, of course, they dominated more on the ball. Leon didn't really even have an answer. Up a man, or down a man after they got scored on. They didn't really have an answer. Angel Mena came on way too late. 
Osby came on way too late. Lopez came on way too late. It just wasn't good enough. It just wasn't good enough for Leon. And again, they lose to a Repichaje rival, a team that if they beat, they're in a playoff spot. They've knocked them down. They're in a good position. They lost last week to Keretaro. Could have jumped them then. They could have won here, jumped Pumas then. They could be easily safely in a playoff spot if things went their way. But it didn't. And they have to backdoor their way into the playoffs. They need Pumas' help now, especially on the final day of the season. They need to beat Juarez, who are playing well right now. They're finally starting to turn a corner. Eliminated, but they might play spoiler after having a horrible start to the season. And Queretaro has a bad end to the season. They have a tough end of the season coming up. So, they probably aren't picking up six points or even three. They're probably the most unlikely to gain any ground. They're probably more likely to lose ground. Now, it's up to Leon to make them pay. They're at 23 points as well. If they don't get three more points, which their goal differential is better than Leon's, if I recall correctly, after looking at the table, with two games left, they would have that 10th spot, even if they only picked up three points. If they win a game, they shouldn't. They're, they're in. Leon has to pick up all six. They could win a game and get in. Problem is, oh wait, But they could backdoor their way into the playoffs. Depending on the situation. Because the goal differential could change. That's probably what we were talking about. Yeah, the goal differential could change in the final two games. Especially if you're Queretaro playing these hard games. Leon could have that goal differential lead by the end of the season. If they pick up those three points against Juarez. I'm not going to say... They could pick up a point against America. I don't think they will. That's a problem. Wait. One of them's playing Monterey. One of them's playing... Yeah, I think I may have got that swapped up. But whatever. Point is, they're playing a really good team next week. And Pumas is as well. They're both probably losing in that situation. But, Caritato's playing a good team too, so I think it'll all push. Maybe one of them gets a point, but it's that, honestly, for all these teams, it's the final week of the season that decides it. Who goes, what two teams go, what one team gets knocked out. Everybody else is eliminated at this point under Leon. So, again, I'm not happy with Leon's performance. It's not as destructive as this could be. Game was sort of boring, even though Pumas dominated. The game was sort of boring. They kind of killed it off after the goal. Leon didn't try to come back. That makes you wonder, do you think they could even beat Juarez? Because Juarez is getting hot right now. They want to be a spoiler, and they may just be that spoiler. So the question is, What's next? And can Leon bounce back from these last two weeks and backdoor their way into the playoffs? Pumas, I think they're safe. I, I legit think they're safe. Queretaro, I think they're going to miss out. It just depends on how many goals they allow. That's the kicker. But, you know, player of the game for me, I'm going to say... I'm going to say Chino Huerta. I think he played a pretty good game. He should have scored a goal. I think he played a pretty good game. But again, Pumas did what they had to do. They were the better team. Leon just didn't have a fight. They didn't have the fight. They didn't have the heart. You kind of saw this coming the whole game. They were going to lose. Makes you wonder about the rest of their season. But it's getting tight. It's getting tight. We know eight of the teams in Ligia. We probably know nine. But it's possible that 
this shuffles a bit over the last two weeks. But if you're not Leon, if you're under Leon, you're out is the point. So with that being said, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell your friends. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. Notification once subscribe. Send some chats on the live streams. Comment on this video. Put us to the playlist. Share us friends and family. All that great stuff. I will see you on Saturday. We have a whole week off this week. I will see you on Saturday for a live watch along. Well, depending on how the... Maybe I'll do my Canadian Championship predictions over the week. Depending on when the Leafs play. Or on Sunday. But most likely, I'll have most of the week off. I'll see you on Saturday for Toronto FC versus New England Revolution. The return match in the season for them both. I'll see you on Saturday. I got a week off. Have a great week. Thank you for enjoying. We did Domingo Football Little. Now I got a week off. I'll see you then. I'm Ron and I'm out. Peace. See you.